In this short video, we are going to compare linear growth with exponential growth. And the way we're going to do that is by looking at money that's been invested using simple interest and money that's been invested using compound interest. First, let's make sure we know which model goes with which. For simple interest, if we want to know the future value of an investment, we want to do the principal plus the interest that was earned. And with simple interest, the interest is P times R times T. So here we have an equation that's the principal plus the interest. So this model right here will give us the future value of an investment when it's invested using simple interest. And you can see there's nothing in the exponent at all, no variable in the exponent. So this is a linear model. So simple interest is going to follow a linear model. Compound interest, the future value, is given to us by a formula that does have variables in the exponent. And since there are variables in the exponent, compound interest follows an exponential model. The situation we're going to look at is $2,000 that's invested at 7%. And we're going, to we're going to compare that investment using simple interest against being compounded monthly. Let's take a look. So in the chart on the left, what we see is for the number of years the money's been invested, the total value of the investment. And we see that for the simple interest column, and we also see it for the compound interest column. And on the right, we have a graph of those numbers. We can see that after one year, the money invested at simple interest is worth $2,140. The money invested using compound interest is worth $2,145. Not a huge difference at this point. The compound, the money invested using compound interest has grown a little faster, but not a whole lot, and that's reflected in the graph. If we jump ahead a bit and we go to the five year mark, now we can see that the money invested in simple interest is worth $2,700. The money invested using compound interest is worth $2,835. Still not a huge difference, but it is starting to spread out just a little bit. And then if we jump ahead, say, to the 30-year mark, if we jump ahead to 30 years, we can see that the simple interest the money in that account is now worth $6,200, but the money in the account that's using compound interest is worth $16,233. Now, we're starting to see a difference in these values. And as we continue, what happens here is the line created by the linear model that is simple interest turns out to be very different than the curve created when we have exponential growth. And the key here is that exponential growth will really take off versus linear growth, which just stays consistent the whole time. Looking at these numbers and seeing what compound interest can do, it's kind of easy to see how Einstein is given credit for saying that compound interest is the most powerful force in the universe.